welcome back to Winning Law. I'm attorney David Wynn with offices in Houston, Texas. And today we're going to go over part two of the best ways to respond to requests for evidence, notice of intent to deny, or continuances with your immigration case. If you missed part one of our last series, go ahead and take a look at it because it covers the basic tips when responding to these type of requests. If you're watching this video, we're going to go over today three more advanced tips on how to best and effectively respond to these requests. The first advanced tip in responding to these type of requests is to make sure that you respond to each and every one of the immigration officer's concerns and requests. In order to do this, I recommend that you make a copy of whatever document that you received. After you make a copy of it, go through and number out all of the different concerns and requests that the government is asking for. This way you can be sure that you're responding to each and every one of their requests or concerns. The worst part about a case is if you respond to some and you forget to respond to some others. The government can easily just deny your application or petition because you failed to respond to one of their requests. The second advanced tip is to make sure that you furnish the government with every available type of evidence that they are asking for. So if they're asking for A, B, and C, you want to make sure that you give them all three. Let me give you some examples. If the government is asking for criminal records or your criminal history, you want to make sure that you provide them with a certified copy of the police, arrest, and court records. This means that you go to the police station and request a certified copy of your police and arrest records, and then you go out to the courthouse and you obtain every single document related to your court or um, criminal history. Another thing that you should do is that if they're asking for proof of marriage and they're asking for bank joint bank statements, don't provide them with an account verification letter. That's not going to work. You want to make sure that you provide them with what they're asking for. Many times, if the government is questioning something in your relationship and you don't have it, make sure that you attach a notarized affidavit to explain all of the deficiencies. So again, if the government is asking for particular things, make sure that you provide them with all available types of evidences to support your case and make it approvable. The third and final advanced tip is to make sure that you are aware of what the laws are. If you are considering responding to these requests by yourself, you also have to be responsible for also being up to date on what the laws are. I recommend taking a look at the Immigration and Nationality Act if you have any questions on what the laws are. This way you can be assured that when you respond to these requests, you're doing it correctly. Thank you again for watching Winning Law. Again, I'm attorney David Wynn, and I hope that you have found the three basic tips in our last video and the three advanced tips in this video helpful in your response to immigration. Again, thank you for watching Winning Law. I'm attorney David Wynn, and we hope that we have made immigration easier to understand. At David Gwen's Law Office, we are here to help you. We bring families together through immigration. And on the other hand, we help you find solutions. All your legal needs in the hands of people who care, who are there for you. We'll take care of your loved ones. At the law office of David